Well, we're asking today, are students in Australia getting smarter or is something else going on? A study of Australian universities has revealed one in four students is being given a high distinction. That's a 234% increase in the number of high distinctions over the last decade. They're calling it grade inflation and it's making uni degrees increasingly worthless because if everyone's getting a high distinction, how do you know who the top performing students really are? They say now that we're getting to a point where the average mark is pretty much a distinction. So, Caleb, these students are meant to be the cream of the crop, right? If you get a distinction, wow, that's really amazing. But when everyone's getting one, really no one's distinctive or standing out, <laughs> are they? So are, are young people just getting so much smarter than, than you were when you are at uni or when Liz was getting her degree in human rights or uh, is something else going on? Well, I did the right thing and didn't go to uni. I skipped the brainwashing. But I think we all know what this is about. I mean, what they're doing essentially is, and, and this is what this study, which huge study, they looked at like 600,000 students who all had around about the same ATAR and the average in 2011 was a, a credit and now the average is a distinction. And what is happening at the universities is they realise two things. Uh, if they, if the lecturers, etc., want career progression, they've kind of got to prove that they're doing a good job. Yep. So by giving better marks, it makes them look better. It makes the students happier so they have less problems to worry about. And, of course, it makes the universities look better on a global platform, right? Because they want all of this money from international students who come in and pay full-toed odds. Unlike a student who goes to university in Australia and goes through the, the HEX system, the international students pay full toad odds. So if they just, you know, inflate the, uh, the results and say, look how good we are, our students are flying, even though they're just marking them up on average more to diddle the numbers, yeah. what a great system. Oh, why didn't anyone think of this earlier? Well, student satisfaction is a big rating for universities now. And, of course, the university sector is highly competitive. They're all chasing students. So I, I guess you want your students to be happy and... Failing students are typically not that happy and not marking the university <laughs> this ruins, highly. This ruins the whole point yes. of university. <laughs> the whole point of university no, I'm is paying to huge sort... Money for my degree, I want to <laughs> yeah, give it to me. ...is to sort the, the chaff, the dross... <laughs> From the good the stuff. Yeah. Like, the whole point is to sift through, find the best, promote those, get them into the careers that they deserve. So if you studied law, you're in the top tier law firm. It's like you're talking you about studied medicine. I, I know, <laughs> and this, this is a further... Because unis used to be the guardians at the gates of a meritocracy. Because you were young, you'd just finished uni, and you were just starting out in your degree, but you knew if I get really good grades, this is going to have me leaps and bounds ahead of the rest at the very beginning of my career and then the sky's the limit. Nobody feels that same sense of aspiration anymore. It always reminds me of the old joke of the USSR. They pretend to pay us, we pretend to work. In this situation, it's like they pretend to grade us, we pretend to study hard. Like, why would I even try that hard to be excellent if everyone's excellent? Like, one in four is getting these distinctions, high distinctions, so why would I try to be truly distinctive? And also, how much is ChatGPT playing a part in this as well, where sure. average people are getting higher grades because they're relying on AI to spit out half their content? You know, them. a part of me wonders as well whether it's because students have worked out that their lecturers, etc., have a certain political bent and they've started writing stuff that they know their, their lecturers will like. Because I, I know of people who have, you know, they're perhaps of our political persuasion, um, and have written papers to that effect, and they get marked down because of it. Right. So you quickly learn, Pavlo Pavlov's dog, that if you start writing left-wing guff, well, you're going to get a better mark, are you? So how many kids are there out there at university? Look, I'll just do whatever fits in the pro forma, and well, maybe I'll be better off. It 
in that theme, you know, my son had his uh, first university. He was doing an assignment on Saturday, but it's an assignment. You go to university and you do your assignment at the university. Okay. And part of the assignment is you are asked questions by other students and you have to answer and they test your knowledge. I said, so what sort of questions do the kids ask? And my son said, well, it, the, the question I ask will depend on the questions I am asked. If some kid tries to, like, corner me or snooker me, <laughs> right. and when he gets up to do his report, I am going to ask difficult questions, but apparently everybody asked very nice questions. Oh, cool. Because <laughs> they were all making sure they all got high distinction. This apparently, is that's so the way lame. It's going. I'd just oh, be the most hated student in class <laughs> being like, I'm going to show all the rest of them up and then look like an absolute legend.